just picked up the UNC toe Jordan ones early and I've decided that I'm gonna be wearing these for a week straight to give you guys a full review. And I'm gonna help you decide whether or not this sneaker is right for you, if you can pick them up for retail or if you have to end up paying resale. Quickly, I am about to head out of the crib so I wanna give you guys a, I guess, first impressions on the shoe. I gotta say, right off the bat, I think this is probably the best Jordan one high that they've done this year so far. I love a lot of the lows that have come out this year, but yeah. These are probably gonna be up there as one of the best. I know everybody cares about the quality of the shoe, and I gotta say, the leather is decent. I would give it maybe a seven out of 10. The baby blue is definitely where they use a little bit of the premium leathers on the toe and the back area. The black and the white is just your basic average Jordan 1 leather, nothing too special and not too cheap. It's kind of in the middle. One thing I do wish it did come with is white laces. We get baby blue laces. We also get the black laces that are on the shoe. Uh, I'll probably just rock with the black laces, but I think white laces would have been a cool touch. I will say this is probably my favorite UNC Jordan 1 or University Jordan 1 that they've done as far as color blocking goes since the original. I think nothing beats the original just because it's the classic. Now I know the rumor is that they made about 500,000 pairs of these. And I gotta say my personal pair looks like it doesn't have any quality control issues. That's something that Jordan brand and Nike have, you know, kind of not cared about over the last two years is the quality control because they've just been pushing out product and we've been buying it. So there's no reason for them to really perfect every single sneaker. But I gotta say on this pair, it's actually really good. I see no flaws and I hope that happens for everyone's pairs because if you're making 500,000 of them, chances are some of them are gonna come out pretty bad, but for the most part, my pair is looking pretty good. All right, so yeah, let's get the day started. Let's put these on feet, cause yeah, it's gonna be a long week and uh, we're gonna have to find a lot of outfits that match these right here. But I think I did a pretty good job today, so. All right, y'all, back on Melrose. I don't say that often anymore, but we're here. Got the UNC ones on feet or the UNC toe ones on feet. So far, so good. I'm not really creasing, not really any issues. I've been wearing them for the last couple hours. I didn't get any compliments though. That's one thing that shows me that people aren't really breaking their necks over that. Pardon the interruption, y'all, but I want to let you guys know that this weekend is the highly anticipated LA Got Soul 2023 at the LA Convention Center right across from Staples Center. Of course, I'm going to be in the building and you do not want to miss out. I'm going to leave the link for tickets down below. And LA, you know we got a ton of sneaker heads out here. You know we got one of the craziest sneaker communities out here. So LA is definitely going to show out and you definitely want to pull up and be a part of this event. On top of that, Blue Face is pulling up in LA native, so it's gonna be crazy when he walks into the building. And of course, since it's Hollywood, you never know who else is gonna show up. But again, I'm gonna leave the link for tickets down below. Don't miss out July 22nd, this Saturday, LA Got Soul. I'll see you guys there. So I'm gonna talk about the experience on day one and two with these. Now yesterday, I didn't film anything really because I literally was just running errands. I didn't do anything exciting, so I didn't even take any B-roll. But yes, I did wear them yesterday for about two hours maybe. But today, we're gonna put them to the real test because we're gonna be wearing them to an event. We're going to Kobe Swap Meet in San Diego. It's like an outdoor, not sneaker convention, but more so like a flea market. So we're gonna be wearing these outdoor. It's gonna be hot. But yeah, yeah, from the first two days, I gotta say, with these ones, it's kind of similar to every other Jordan one, but there was a little bit of roughness right here, but I guess that's just something that happens with Jordan ones after you wear them a couple times. It got better as I wore them more. They look great. I mean, there's very, very light creasing on the toe box. Both shoes just look phenomenal. I'm sure as it goes on, it will probably get worse and worse, but you know, right off the rip, they're not bad. My only issue is trying to find fits with them because like it goes perfect with this shirt, but I only have so much baby blue in my closet. If you're looking for a shoe that you could wear with, you know, a lot of stuff, like if this was like a Chicago colorway or a bread toe, I think it would be way more wearable with the majority of my closet. Anyway, let's go to this event and um, we'll also get some of our friends' opinions on these. Common Hype, Bo's gonna be there, a few other friends are gonna be there, so let's see what they think about these and maybe they can give us some resale predictions. <laughs> All 
right, beautiful day here in San Diego, guys. One thing I just realized, wearing these for the first time with shorts, I think they look better with shorts than they do pants. Pants, when I wore them the other day, I felt like I was just wearing the UNC lows from last year. With the pant, with the shorts, you can actually get a good look at them, and I feel like they pop a lot more. So if I do end up keeping these pairs past the seven days, moving forward, I'd probably only wear them with shorts on if anybody cares. Anyway, we're at Kobe's. Um, my feet have been holding up so far. We've been here for like an hour. Uh, I decided to wear them a little loose today, give it a more casual vibe, and I prefer that so they're not so tight on my feet. But yeah, let's see what other people think of these. Opinions, UNC toes, what do you think? Uh, off first glance, I like them a lot. Color's good, UNC's good. Material's not bad. Um, wouldn't wear them though because it doesn't have a white toe box. Ooh. But I actually like them, and I hope they do well this summer. From a reseller point of view, what do you think of these? Um, I just know they're gonna be bricks, unfortunately. Wow, really? Yeah, I just think they're gonna be bricks. This is literally this is literally the taxi, but in a blue. So I think these are gonna hit probably two to twenty. So basically, you're telling people don't pay resell. Don't, bro. Get them for retail. If it's if it's a retail cop. Yes, retail cops good. Cause this is like the the broke man obsidian, but like a little honestly i like this one better it's yeah i was gonna say i like them better than it was way better the color yeah, on these are good i agree it just sucks that this is coming out in 2023 instead of 2018. oh this would have been banger yeah. unc toes be honest uh i wouldn't wear them because i don't really i'm not a big like unc blue guy but i think the quality of the shoe is really good i think the color blocking is good i think it's a good shoe you think they should pay resale or just get them for retail for me personally it's not a shoe i would pay resale for i wouldn't wow. even pay retail for it like i you wouldn't even pay retail? No, like they dropped on sneakers yesterday and I had no interest in even going for them. Wow. Yeah. All but right. they're, they're nice. Shoes. Respectable. All right, here we are, guys. It has been a week that I've been wearing these. It's actually been two weeks since I started wearing them, but I wore them on and off. I didn't want to wear them for a week consecutively just because I'm not gonna lie I kind of got over these shoes within the first three days and there were certain things I was doing like going to Vegas and stuff like that where I just didn't want to wear them and I wanted to wear something else it doesn't really sum up how I feel about the shoe but it definitely gives you an idea of how I feel about the shoe but let's really break it down so that I can help you decide whether or not you want to buy these when they release literally this weekend or maybe you're watching it after this weekend and you're trying to decide whether or not you should purchase them because if I'm honest I think they will be easy to get and I think you will be able to purchase them after the release date for retail now let's start out with like the overall like quality how did they wear in and is it worth the price point so first of all there's no like crazy break in like there wasn't an insane crease there wasn't like insane back creases like like they just are like another Jordan one like it's good simple basic leather quality nothing too crazy it is pretty nice here on the toe area but because you get a nice soft leather you are going to get a slight crease so yes they do crease but i mean sneakers are meant to be worn they're meant to be creased and they're using these cheap insoles still these uh dream cell insoles which they're not branded anymore i don't know why but it is pretty much the same thing and i don't like these things but i never swapped them out as much as i don't like them they're they are tolerable um, so I was able to wear them every day with these without having any issues. Are they worth resale? Based on the numbers, people are saying they made damn near 600,000 pairs of these. Now when that info comes out, the hype beast in the sneaker community start to get turned off. Oh, I don't want them anymore. There's too many pairs. I agree, I think they did make quite a few pairs of these. I think they could have done maybe like 300 to 400K pairs and that would have been nice. That still would have been a good chunk. When you overproduce and you're getting into the 500, 600K numbers, I think, you know, it does start to turn some people off, let's be real. It makes the shoe a little bit less special because you know they're gonna sit and that turns people off. And yeah, you shouldn't buy a shoe just because of the amount that they make or because of the hype. And I agree, I feel like, you know, I do get sucked into the hype sometimes, but I think this shoe is a good shoe. I think it's great color blocking. I know I said earlier in the video that I think it's the best UNC since the original. And I kind of take that back. Um, I'll, I'll talk about that in a bit and, and how I actually feel about the shoe and whether or not I'm actually going to keep them moving forward. But um, it is a good shoe. And I think the amount of units they make shouldn't affect whether or not you want to buy this shoe. I think if you like this shoe, if you think you can add this to your rotation and it could be a shoe that you wear consistently, then it is definitely worth retail price. Is it worth resell if you can't get them? 
I don't think you'll have to pay resell, but if you do, like literally you cannot find them for retail anywhere in your size. I don't think they're worth resell. I don't think you should pay more than $200 for these. I think with tax and shipping, depending where you buy them from, they should not be more than 200, maybe $210 the most. Resell right now on StockX and Goat and all these you know, third-party websites are is about 200 to $210 before fees. So you're probably playing like 230, 240 for the shoe if you pay resell. Don't do that. Do not pay resell. Let resell be your very last resort. In my opinion, these are gonna sit. If these do not sit for at least a week, I will be surprised. You should, I'm 99% sure that you should be able to get these for resell if you try. Now for me personally, am I gonna keep these in the collection? Is it a sneaker worth copping? Like I'm very selective with my actual sneaker purchases. Like a lot of the shoes I buy is to make content with and then I'll kind of decide whether or not I wanna keep them. And at first when I got these, I'm like, oh, these are definitely staying in the collection. But as I started to wear them, I still like them, but they just didn't give me that like, I wasn't in love with them. Like I didn't look down at my feet and be like, oh, these are definitely staying in the collection. They kind of just went from like, all right, these are great to like, uh, I can live without these. Like as I started wearing them, I kind of just got over them every single day. And that's why I said I stopped wearing them consistently for this video. I still wore them for a week, which was seven days, but it just wasn't a week straight, which I usually don't do, but it just got to the point where I was really over these. And um, again, it is a great colorway. It is good quality for a Jordan one. It's just not a sneaker that I'm planning to keep in my collection. Like I probably will get rid of these on my next whatnot, which is this Sunday. <laughs> for those who, uh, for those of you guys that don't know, uh, I think it's a good shoe. I think it's worth copping for retail if you need it in the rotation. But for me personally, I wore them for seven days and uh, I can live without them. So we're gonna be get, getting rid of these on my next whatnot. All right, let me know. What do you guys think? Who's planning to cop these? Did my seven day experiment of wearing them help you decide whether or not you're planning to cop? Appreciate y'all and let me know in the comment section down below what sneaker should we wear for a week or maybe for a month next, all right? Let me know what hype sneaker you guys are looking forward to that you would like me to test run for you, all right? Peace out and we'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out. Ain't no gimmick, don't need no gimmicks. Got no limits, no speaking limit. Used to be